This is another video in our series on indoor plants. If you'd like to keep up to date with these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel now and ring the bell so you're notified as soon as we release our next video. If you'd like to create a lush tropical look indoors or perhaps on a patio, then ferns are the way to go. And the bird's nest fern is one of the easiest to grow and it's also one with really outstanding foliage. So let's take a look at the bird's nest fern, grown as an indoor plant. We'll talk about watering, we'll talk about fertiliser and we'll talk about basic care. It's called the bird's nest fern because the centre of the plant is shaped like a bird's nest. As you can see, the foliage is heavily ribbed, pale to mid-green, so that gives it a real lot of interest from just about any angle. The two species of bird's nest ferns that we're talking about in this video are Asplenium nidus and Asplenium australasicum. But with these two, there are natural varieties occurring. So we have Lady Victoria, which has wavy edges on the foliage. And then we have lasagna with really rippled foliage. And this is a fantastic looking plant. There's also a broadleaf crested form with much wider foliage and a narrow leaf crested form with bifurcated or split ends to the foliage. As for watering, these are a plant that actually get water from above because they grow in trees. So water will fall naturally on the plants and it will drain away. Take them outside and water them with a watering can. In summertime, you might need to do this once or twice a week. And generally, you would never sit these plants in water. So you're not going to bottom water them by sitting them in a tub or anything like that. However, if you're going away for two weeks, you can sit the plants in a saucer of water. They'll be okay for two weeks. When you get back, take them out of the saucer, allow them to drain thoroughly. Don't water them until the soil dries out and then go back to your normal watering regime. In the center of the plant, you can see the new fronds. That's where they appear from. So the only maintenance that you'll need to carry out is the removal of any old dead fronds. And these are the lower ones. And you just snip them off when you're ready to. You could use a slow release fertilizer and you can see that sitting in the pot there. But most growers prefer to use a half strength liquid seaweed fertilizer. And this is applied every three to four weeks and you can do that when you're watering the plant. The only real pest problems with these plants are mealybug and white scale. And you can treat both of these with a horticultural soap, which you spray on, or you can use a diluted dishwashing liquid, put it in a spray bottle and use that. We recommend you stay away from using white oil on these plants as bird's nest ferns are a little bit sensitive and if you overuse it, you'll kill the fern. When the plant gets too big for the pot, take it out, neck size up for the pot, repot it in normal potting mixture. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring the bell and you'll be notified when we have further updates on a whole range of indoor plants and indeed a whole range of gardening topics.